Hello everybody, uh, I'm Jason Snap and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Snap Street Stand Ministries video devotionals. Uh, I started this this site, uh, my whole ministry began by this tree stand ministry. I would go hunting and I'd go out in the woods and I'd go fishing and I'd prophetically write these messages and send them out. And people were, were touched by them and, and who would ever thought that it would grow to uh, what it has grown now today. Now I'm a I'm a pastor, I have my own church, I have a ministry, there's been hundreds, maybe even, you know, a couple of thousand people that have given their life to Christ over through what God has done <clears throat> inside my heart. There's a revival that God wants to start inside your heart and it's a fire and He wants it He wants it to spread out and touch the regions and and, and, the, and touch the mountaintops and just go and just spread all over. And He wants to do that in you just like He has done it in me. And, and I started this website, uh, this on Facebook here, just just for us country boys and girls to share uh, our outdoor adventures, our testimonies, our revelations. And, and I'd just like to share something with you today out of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. The word of the Lord says, Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow to it. Many people shall come. And say, come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. I, I do believe this is a prophetic word for this time and this season. God is doing a new thing in his people. It's, it's no longer people that are just satisfied going to church and, and being dry and being a religious system. And, and, and no miracles, no signs and no wonders. God, God is connecting climbers. It's a season where God is connecting people who are willing to climb the mountain, who are willing to get to the top. And, and it's not a season where the people that are comfortable down in the valleys, there's people that are comfortable just sitting in the pews. There's people that are just comfortable down there because there's no there's no resistance there's no fight all the crops are down in the in the valleys people got uh, luscious grasses for their livestock down in the valleys but there's a remnant in Romans 11 5 it says there is a remnant who have been elected by the grace of God and I believe that this is a season we're stepping into where there's a remnant of soldiers a remnant of people who are who are on fire who are willing to go to extra way see there's a thing when you go to the mountaintop it, it, it's a struggle when you go to the mountaintop it takes effort when you go to the mountaintop it takes determination when you try to make it to the top of the mountain it takes faith see in the natural you can take an ATV and you can make it an easier route but we live in a day and time where everybody wants everything easy but I came to tell somebody today your spiritual mountain there is no such thing as a spiritual ATV you will have to dig in you have to put on your boots you have to put on your backpack you have to pack up your stuff and you're going to have to be willing to go you're going to have to be willing to go through the struggles to get there and, 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 and I believe that that this is a fire that's beginning in our region, in our time, in our nation. I believe that there's a remnant of people who are not just comfortable. Hallelujah. Sitting in the valleys who are not just comfortable, but we're willing to do whatever it takes. And I believe that this is a season that God is connecting the climbers. He's connecting the hikers. He's connecting the people who are not just satisfied. He's connecting the people that want to go higher. He's connecting the people that want to see his river flow like never before. He's connecting the people, glory to God, who's gotten lost in a secret place. As they begin to climb the mountain, they look back and they realize that nobody was going with them, but they've made up their mind they're going anyway. And along the way, as we begin to climb this mountain we've started to run into other people hallelujah who has left the crowds who has left the valleys who who has left the people hallelujah and and, and it's a path hallelujah and the bible says in matthew chapter 7 it says it's a narrow path and, and and it's a way to life but there's very few that find it we have to understand in this season in this time there's going to be people who are going to mock us they're going to persecute us they're going to they're going to talk about us hallelujah they're going to come against what god is trying to do in this season but i just want to encourage somebody today today is the day that you begin to hide Today is the day that you begin to climb. Today is the day that you begin to come out of that valley that you've been living in day after day. Because there's a remnant of people who are tired of struggling with the same thing over and over and over. Day after day after day after day. And today, hallelujah, we're going to begin to climb. And as we begin to climb, God is going to connect us together. True glory. We'll have to leave our spiritual ATVs behind. It's going to take effort. It's going to take faith. Hallelujah. It's going to take endurance. Oh, it's going to take determination. 
But God created you for this time, for this season. Hallelujah. He put it in you. Hallelujah. To be this mountain climber. He put it in you to go to the top. Hallelujah. You're going to have to let go of some things. When you start going to the top of the mountain, you can't carry everything with you that you've been carrying in this past season. you got to let go of some stuff. Some of that stuff is too heavy. You'll never make it to the top if you try to carry that with you. you got to let go of some stuff, some habits, some hang-ups, some people, some places, and some things. Hallelujah. And you got to just put on your back all that you need to survive. Hallelujah. And you may have to kill on your way up. Hallelujah. You may have to go through a struggle on your way up. There may be times where you're hungry. There may be times when you're thirsty. There may be times when you're not sure how you're going to make it. Like I said, it's going to take faith. But I came to tell somebody today, God put it in you. Climb this mountain. Come out of this valley. Today is your day that you make up your mind. Today is your day you say, I'm not going to struggle here no more. Today is your day where you're ready to find those people. Hallelujah. That God is willing to connect you that say, I want to go higher. Today is the day.